LV01 lock installation tutorial. Let's preview the smart lock first. The package contains exterior assembly, latch, strike, mounting plate, interior assembly, installation guide, cutout drawing, mounting plate screws, strike screws, latch screws, cover screws, reset tool, backup key, optional bolt faceplate. Before the installation, make sure your door is ready for installing the lock. Prepare the door and check the following dimensions. First, measure to confirm that the hole in the door is 2 to 1 8 inch, 54 millimeters. Second, measure to confirm that the bracket is either 2 to 3 8 inches or 2 to 3 4 inches, 60 or 70 millimeters. Third, measure to confirm that the hole in the door edge is 1 inch, 25 millimeters. Fourth, measure to confirm that the door is 1 to 3 8 to 2 inches, 35 millimeters or 50 millimeters thick. Please refer to the provided cutout template printing for drilling if needed. You can also rotate and put a back set as instructed to extend the latch if you need it. Now we're going to show you how to mount the LV01 lock to the door. First, Pay attention to the orientation of the latch. Make sure the latch is upward. Second, install the bolt to the door frame and make sure the slot is in the center of the door hole. Third, fix the latch with two strut screws. Use a screwdriver to test if the dead bolt goes smoothly. Then keep the latch in retracted position. Fourth, hold the exterior assembly flush to the door. Let the key tailpiece and power cable go through the door hole. The door plate should be kept horizontal and the cables should be under the latch. Fifth, install the mounting plate and let the cable go through right under the rectangular slot. Secure the mounting plate with the provided screws and keep it parallel to the door edge. Sixth, remove the battery lid from the interior assembly. Make sure the cable of the exterior assembly is well plugged to the socket of the interior PCB. Rotate the thumb turn to vertical and facing upward. Fix the interior assembly to the mounting plate and test if the latch works smoothly. Then screw in the screws to fix the interior assembly. Seventh, keep your lock in unlock status. Insert three new AA alkaline batteries in the battery pack. Stick in and hold the reset hole with the reset pin. Insert the last battery and keep holding still the reset pin at the same time for about three seconds until you hear a beep sound. Then the latch bolt will reallocate to learn the orientation of the door. Eighth, Use the backup key to test if the latch works smoothly. Use the default master pin code 12345678 to open the door. Press a random key for more than 3 seconds to lock the door. If the door can unlock and lock as it's supposed to, that means the installation is successful. Put back the lid of the battery pack to complete the installation. LV01 lock programming tutorial. First, change the master code. The default master pin code is 12345678. You'll be asked to change the master pin code prior to adding any codes for security concerns. 
press double asterisks, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then pound key, then press one, then input new master code, then press pound key, then input a new master code again, then press pound key to store a new master code. Use the new master code to test if you can unlock the LV01 lock. The setting is correct and successful when the indicator light is green. The setting fails when the indicator light flashes red. Second, add user code. You can press double asterisks, then input new master code, and then press pound key, and then press 2, and type in new user code, and then press pound key, and type in new user code again, and then press pound key to add a new user code. Use the new user code to unlock the LV01 lock. Pay attention that each pin code has to be set 4 to 10 digits in numbers, and here are some additional notes. Neither master nor user pin codes could be set no matter what forward nor backward. Even with repeating number sequence would be rejected by the system. An existing code sequence is invalid too. Third, delete user code. You can press double asterisk and then press new master code and press pound key, press 3, and type in unwanted user code and press pound key to delete the useless one. Now the deleted user code cannot unlock the LV01 lock. Fourth, enable and disable silent mode. The silent mode is disabled by default. You can press double asterisk and press new master code and press pound key, press 42 and press pound key to enable the silent mode. You can press double asterisk and press new master code and press pound key and press 41 and press pound key to disable the silent mode. Fifth, enable and disable auto lock. The auto lock function is disabled by default. You can press double asterisk and press new master code and press pound key, press 51 and press pound key to enable auto lock function. You can press double asterisk and press new master code and press pound key and press 52 and press pound key to disable auto lock function. Sixth, set auto lock time delay. The default auto lock time delay is 30 seconds. You can press double asterisk and press new master code and press pound key, press 8 and then put new delay time. It should be 10 seconds to 99 seconds. And press pound key to adjust the delay time. Seventh, add one time code. You can press double asterisk and then press new master code. And press pound key and press seven and type in new user code. And press pound key and type in new user code again. And press pound key to add one time code. The one time code will be expired after unlocking the LV01 lock once. Eighth, enable the vacation mode. You can press double asterisk and input new master code and press pound key and press 6 and press pound key to enable the vacation mode. In this mode, if the LV01 lock is unlocked by the key or thumb turn, the lock will beep for one minute. You can find common issues with solutions in the user manual.
And if the problem couldn't be resolved, please feel free to contact us and we'll get back to you once we receive it.